Supporters of opposition leader Jean Ping are in a charged mood after he filed a petition with the Constitutional Court challenging the election results. They want to hear nothing from the government or its perceived supporters. One journalist who works for the national broadcaster was not welcome here. Jean Ping came to his headquarters to brief them on his next move. In his court petition, he wants votes from President Ali Bongo's home province of Hotogue to be recounted and the election results nullified. He's also warning judges of the repercussions if that doesn't happen. I fear that if they make a wrong judgment, Gabon will be unstable. They have to choose between stability and instability. It's a heavy responsibility, but I hope they make a judgment that is beyond passion. All this follows days of violent protests and weeks of uncertainty. Here, opposition supporters have built a makeshift shrine for those they say have died in election fighting. Opposition and civil society groups say dozens of people have been killed by police and hundreds are missing. Government leaders say four people were killed and more than a thousand arrested. There's a lot of news from politicians saying 50 people have been killed, but you need to verify this information by going to the hospitals and mortuaries. I'm surprised to hear this figure. Give me a list of names and I'll look into it. The president and his minister also say there were election irregularities in opposition strongholds that needs to be investigated. No complaints have been filed with the court. Judges here at the Constitutional Court have two weeks to either throw out the case or invalidate the results. They're under a lot of pressure to be transparent. Whatever they decide is likely to have serious implications on the country. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Libreville, Gabon.